Hi everybody, it's Danny, and today I have a um, nail polish haul um, for you guys. This haul is pretty cool because um, it was like a mystery box, so I really thought that was cool. Basically, a girl in one of my Facebook um, nail polish um, groups where you like sold, you could sell or trade nail polish. Um, wanted to seriously downsize her collection for whatever reason and instead of just labeling everything individually and being like oh well this much for this one and then you know she decided to do grab bags and they were $22 and pr yeah and free shipping and you got five indie nail polishes which indies are my favorite and so I was like awesome and she kind of let me customize it a little bit because like I told her you know I don't I don't wear yellow nail polish, so, you know, no yellow or yellow toned polishes would be appreciated. And then I told her I don't really do chunky glitters, like super chunky glitters. I don't really do those either. So she's like, no problem. And, and she also said that each box would also have like a few little freebies thrown in too, just basically whatever she could shove in there. Um, and so I got my polishes today and I want to show them to you. I'm going to show you guys what I got for, like basically, I'm going to show you guys the freebies she threw in first and the first little freebie is just these cute little nail stickers and they're just gold colored and like this top and this bottom row are weird because they look like picture frames and then there's like crowns and then there's bows and then like there's like two little hearts and two diamonds um I don't really like the crowns or the picture frame looking things but those little bows are super adorable so I could see myself mm, possibly using those. Like, I always say, oh, I can use those for nail art. And then I never actually do anything with these. But I do like the bows. I think they're cute. Um, the next thing, which I actually thought was a nail polish because of how it is. And I was like, oh, wow, that's a bright pink cream indie polish. But it's not. It's called Sexy Cuticles and it's a liquid nail tape and it's by MDJ Creations, which I've never heard of. And it's just a liquid, it's basically liquid latex. And what you'll do is you'll take it and you'll paint it, like use a little brush and you'll just paint it around your cuticles. So if you're stamping or sponging or doing water marble or anything, you'll cover your finger and then you can just peel it all off and it's not on your skin. So that's cool. I do have um, one of these from another brand that I cannot remember right now that is blue, but that's nice. Maybe I'll have to see um, how they compare to each other. So I thought that was cool and awesome because heck yeah, you know, as a, for a freebie, that's pretty good because um, I know like what I spent on my bottle was like six bucks <laughs> or something. I can't remember exactly. It was less than ten dollars and then the other freebie was an actual polish and it was this pink cream zoya polish and in the shade eden and it's super pretty i use i like zoya creams they um self level really nicely they go on super smooth this is only one coat so it is really really opaque they're really nice i like zoya polishes a lot and i knew this was a freebie or like extra or whatever because the listing said that all the polishes that you actually paid for would be indie and Zoya is not indie brand so now on to the polishes I actually I guess paid for <laughs> um I will say she did a really good job because again you know there's nothing yellow or yellow toned in here and there's um a pretty um wide range of colors and I like all the colors which is awesome the and um, out of the five indie polishes that she sent me, I'd only heard of two brands. And I had I don't have any polishes by any of these brands. So that's always nice because that's why I wanted to do this, is to try new ones. This first one is by a company called Daily Hues. And this color is called Geranium. And it's so so pretty it is this purple cream well it's like not cream I'm sorry it's like a purple metallic -y base and then it has um, purple 
like blue purpley glitters in it and I really really like it it does dry a little bumpy but that's from all the glitter in it and that's nothing a good top coat won't help this next one I have not ever heard of either and it's um, called Par Parallax Polish their stickers are a little hard to see and the name of this color is Biro Mimicry and it looks like this. Let me show you the side view of the bottle. It is so pretty. This one kind of looks, it kind of reminds me of Chanel, um, Taboo by Chanel, like if Chanel leaned blue instead of red. Um, the next one which is the other one I had never heard of before, is by Sincerely Polish. And it's called Itty, Itty Pinky Bikini. And it is this, like, kind straight up Barbie pink polish with a shimmer. It's got a really, really beautiful shimmer. Not quite hollow. It almost looks like scattered hollow, but it's not. But it's a really, really pretty shimmer. And I love Barbie pinks like this. I don't wear them super lot, but I love Barbie pinks like this. The um, last two I had heard about, but have never tried, but always wanted to try. And one is from Ethereal Lacquer. And this color is called Rapture. And oh my gosh, look how beautiful that teal hollow is. Oh, snap. I saw this and was like, ooh. Because I have saw a couple polishes from this brand before and I wanted to try them. It's just I'd never really got the chance to. Mm, I just hadn't gotten around to buying one yet. And then the last one is actually probably my favorite. And it is by... Polish, which it is, of course it's spelled P-A-H-L-I-S-H, and the name of this is called Count Chocula's Cape, which cracks me up, but it is just the perfect brown hollow. Holy shit. It's not too dark. It's got like, war I don't, I don't know, it's got so much hollow in it. Oh, it's perfect. It is the perfect brown hollow. And that is everything I got in my nail polish haul. For those of you who are wondering and, you know, want to know more about my nail polish problem, these nail polishes put my collection up to 306 and, or no, wait, yes, 306, and I have four more on the way, because, let's face it, yes, I have enough nail polish, and yes, I could probably stop by nail polish today, paint my nails a different color every day for the rest of my damn life, and still not use it all. But let's face it, let's be real. I don't care. I love my nail polish. I'm going to keep buying it. You know, and as I told my husband, you know, because every, every so often he's like, do you really need another nail polish? And to which I reply, do you really need another box of ammo? And he's like, you hush, and I'm like, no. But, um, as I told my husband, I was like, you know, I was like, some women like shoes, some women like clothes, some women like makeup, which I'm not saying I don't like makeup, I don't wear it as often as I'd like, because I don't know how to apply it, um, properly, but I mean, I have a little bit, but I know there are girls out there on YouTube, because I watch their videos, and I love them, that have, like, ridiculous like makeup collections 
I was like, you know, I was like, this is just my thing. I was like, I like nail polish. And you know what? What's funny? My nail polish collection isn't even close to some of these other girls I watch on YouTube. Like, Simply um, Nail Logical. Freaking love the shit out of her. She is awesome. Um, she does really great tutorials. And I think she's funny. And... I like her voice. I don't know. A lot of people like rag on her like that they don't like her voice, but I don't know. I like her voice. I think it's cool. I think it's nice. But anyway, I know just from like, I know she's gotta have way more nail polish than me, you know? And I tell my, and um, like Lorraine too. I love her as well. Um, I think she, she had like one video where like she was showing all her racks off. I, I remember watching it. Uh, this this is an older video, so she probably has like way more now. But I think she was saying that she had like almost a thousand bottles, um, or something. And I was telling my husband about it, and he's like, "Dude, what?" I was like, "See," I was like, "And I only have, you know, three hundred or so." <laughs> and I will say, like, my collection does fluctuate. Like, my numbers fluctuate quite a bit because a I do buy nail polish on a semi-regular basis and then two I do I try to do at least two major declutters a year um so about every six months I will take all of my nail polish off of my racks like I have two racks up here and then this one my husband made me I will take all of the nail polish I take all the nail polish out put it on my bed and go through every single bottle, reorganize it all, um, decide if I'm going to keep this or if I'm not going to keep it. Um, normally the ones that I've been kicking out a lot lately have been more, like I rarely will kick out any of my indies and you know what I mean. So maybe next time I do this, um, I did just do this like three or so months ago. So I'm not due until sometime towards a little bit closer, wait a little bit, a couple more months into the year, but um, maybe next time I do my declutter, um, I will kind of, I'll film it, like I'll take my phone and like I'll show you like the piles, because I mean I don't take all of them off all at once, like what I'll do is I'll do like, you know, I'll do one of these racks and I'll do like the other one and then I'll do like, I'll go by rows. So that way I don't have, you know, three or four hundred dollars, or not dollars, but three or four hundred bottles of nail polish on my bed at once. But no, next time I do that, I will film it if that guy, if that interests you to kind of like show you. And yeah, sorry that I kind of went on a little rambling tangent, but eh, whatever. And I'll talk to everyone later. Bye!